there he is. There goes throwing his bells. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So in this one we're going to be going through the Halls of Judgment. Uh, dungeon wise goes to see the uh, enemy variety and everything like that. And then ultimately go to another section called the Ring of Trials. The Ring of Trials essentially holds a boss in it. And the boss in question is called the Warden. But we'll talk about the Warden uh, a little bit later and what the Warden rewards you with. But for now, let's go ahead and go through this dungeon so that we can see exactly what kind of enemy variations are here. With that being said, let's get to it. Alright, so this one has a bunch of archers, if you can tell, man. These guys are not very difficult at all, but they're pretty annoying because they're very compact. So it's very easy to get overwhelmed by archers. And when that happens... They hurt. And stay down. So you gotta make sure you take them out uh, relatively slowly. Or unless you have means to take them out quickly like I do. But of course, I'm literally end game character with this one already. So it's a lot easier for me. Oh, let's see what, uh, what item this is. So the Keeper's Ring. The Keeper's Ring, I've never really been... A fan of but I think it looks pretty pretty awesome though uh, there it is so uh, it increases resistance to all elemental damage uh, I mean I guess it's not bad uh, in theory but I don't I never really had a reason to use it so I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong and you guys can just tell me I'm wrong but let me know down below for sure I've always liked these caves and stuff. They look really, really cool. Look at that, man. I'm just like walking through all these guys. Ah! <laughs> As I said that, I get like destroyed. Let's go. Arr! Nice try. Oh, you bastard. I think we're already almost done with this dungeon, to be honest. I, re I freaking hate the fire guys, man. I really do. Where are they at? Oh, well, I could definitely use that trait. I'm already on the downward spiral, man. I should be able to max out this character very, very soon, actually. What? Why? Would you leave me the hell alone? Yeah. Goodbye. Let me go ahead and top up. Well, actually, I didn't even have to because we're already done with the dungeon. But with that being said, let's go ahead and go into the Ring of Trials. All right, so we're here. Let's go ahead and sit at the checkpoint really quick. And as you can see on the top left corner, we're at the Ring of Trials. And this is where the Warden resides. He can be a pain in the ass, I'm not going to lie, just because he doesn't stop moving. But overall, he really isn't that hard. There he is. There goes throwing his bells. Ah! really not that hard as long as you can dodge him I mean he's fine he's fine oh god there you go so now that we defeated him he was actually very easy of course as always but now that we defeated him let's go ahead and go over to ward 13 so I can explain to you what he rewards you once you beat him and what that gives you all right guys so once you defeat 
the warden, he gives you a crafting material called Kin Collar's Bell. And essentially what that does is it allows you to craft a weapon mod called the Song of Swords, as you can see right here on the right. The Song of Swords is a really, really good weapon mod. It Essentially what it does is that it protects a uh, projects a 20 meter aura that moves with the caster. All heroes standing in the aura will have their damage dealt increased by 30% and that lasts for 30 seconds. So basically is that once you cast this weapon mod's power, the mod power, you and everyone standing around you gets a 30% uh, buff to the damage that they deal. And it is very, very good. It's only for 30 seconds, but I mean that 30 that 30% 30 is really, really good, especially against uh, the end game uh, boss, which is uh, Dreamer and specifically Nightmare, because he has a DPS section. Using this is amazing. I personally use it all the time, and I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section, and. That's going to pretty much do do it for this video, man. We have one more boss after this. And then we have completed all of the bosses in this game. So, if this is a video that you guys are liking. Or even a series that you guys are liking. Definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.